Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ooze and of course we are back again once again with another video and today we're actually going to be talking about some comic book series that I'm looking forward to within the next few months at least leading into the summertime. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Now I must say I have to admit there are loads of different comic book series that I would love to read but unfortunately I definitely don't have the time nor the money to invest into a buttload of series that I like I said i would just love to jump into there's a bunch of marvel and dc that i definitely want to get into and especially after watching that snyder cut man that john was fire but i like to humble myself down a little bit more and just enjoy a few series but it seems like with how times are going and how certain series are just kind of rolling out that we'll be talking about in this video it's very hard to avoid these ones that i'm about to talk about without further ado let's it go into the very first one Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers. Now this of course is obviously going to be mentioned in any video that I have to talk about for comic books. The Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers as you heard me say it, yes they are two separate but tied into each other. They're interconnected series that are currently written by Ryan Parrott and my man this guy is a god among men. He has been writing for the Power Rangers comic book line for a very long time now and I must say if you have not been reading the comic books you are literally missing out because once you start you're probably not going to want to put them down currently right now mighty morphin and power rangers are both split between what is the current mighty morphin team on earth and then the, the omega rangers out in the galactic space of all that craziness that's going on again i don't want to spoil it but more that but something that i wanted to obviously tie this into is talking more about the astronomer one shot that's actually coming out very soon power rangers unlimited air to dark which drops March 31st, 2021. And let me read you a quick snippet about what it's about. Before she became a Power Ranger, a young girl named Karone was kidnapped by bounty hunters and brainwashed into the assassin known as Astronoma by two of the greatest threats in the galaxy, Dark Spectre and Ecliptor. But what is Dark Spectre's true plan? And what does it mean for the new Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers teams? So as I read, yes, Astronoma will be in some way intermingling with the current power rangers that we know and love like your favorite tommy jason zach all them characters at some point in the story we will see astronomer intermingle with these characters and probably some more now news rama did interview ll mckinney who actually is in charge of this one shot that of course is going to tie in with the current mighty morphin and power ranger comic lines and here's a quick snippet of what they had to say and if you want to read the full article article and interview i'll definitely include that in the description below news rama writes l how did you approach writing the origin story for one of the most memorable power ranger characters here with power rangers air to darkness and she responds i took what made her memorable to fans both past and present myself being a huge fan as well and mixed it with elements that i felt made that season in particular so great there's a side of corona we all know is there you don't get to be second in command of the literal empire of evil for nothing but with Power Rangers being first and foremost a kids show, it wasn't ever explored in depth. I'm too hyped to be able to get to do that. And I'm very hyped to be getting into reading that one shot. Again, it does come out March 31st, 2021, and it will play a very important role into what's currently going on in both Power Rangers and Mighty Morphin comic book lines. Up next, we're actually still within the realm of Boom Studios because if you didn't know, the Power Ranger comics have been produced and published by Boom Studios. Berserker is actually something that I didn't really expect to dive into fully because usually I told myself that I was probably just going to be sticking with Power Rangers and now I'm actually um, going back and reading a lot of the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because I am still currently on a Turtles kick right now. But as soon as I saw Berserker, I was like, you know, there's something about this guy on the cover that looks completely familiar. That looks like Keanu. Oh, it's it's actually Keanu Reeves. So I did get to read the first issue and I have to say, if you've ever known of the character, I don't know, Wolverine, AKA Logan, combine that concept with John Wick. It is like the perfect way to explain it, but to help you understand that a little bit more, here's a couple snippets about Berserker. A 12 issue limited series from the iconic Keanu Reeves in his must read comic book writing debut alongside New York Times bestselling co-writer Matt Kinn. Highest selling original 
comic book launch in nearly 30 years. Now here's what it's about. The man known only as B is half mortal and half God, cursed and compelled to violence, even at the sacrifice of his sanity. But after wandering the world for centuries, B may have finally found a refuge, working for the US government to fight the battles too violent and too dangerous for anyone else. In exchange, B will be granted the one thing he desires, the truth about his endless blood-soaked existence and how to end it. Currently, Berserker is releasing right now. Issue number two is up next. And like like I said, there will be a 12, this will be a 12 issue limited series. And it just got announced that this will actually get a Netflix adaptation with a coinciding anime that of course Keanu Reeves himself will be playing this character. Now, I, I, I'm i gonna tell you right now, I haven't been more excited for a Keanu Reeves project since I got word that my man was gonna be in another John Wick and Matrix film. So I'm really excited i'm looking forward to more berserker and you guys should definitely check it out as well now up next to get away from boom studios but not too far off in my opinion is radiant black radiant black actually started back in february by former power rangers comics writer kyle higgins and kyle higgins again is a very known expert in tokusatsu so for those that don't know tokusatsu tokusatsu is literally the genre in which power rangers basically originated from you got your super sentai your common rider your ultraman things of this nature and Kyle Higgins actually is a part of the team behind the Ultraman comic for Marvel. And so here's a little bit about Radiant Black to get your interests up. Nathan Burnett has just turned 30 and things aren't great. He's working and failing at two jobs. His credit card debt is piling up and his only move is moving back home with his parents. But when Nathan discovers and unlocks the ethereal cosmic radiant, he's given the power to radically change his fortunes. There's just one problem. The powers don't belong to him and the cosmic beings who created them want them back by any means necessary. So like I mentioned, the story just started. We have two issues up so far. Issue three is coming up very, very soon. Definitely check it out. It really does have a really realistic feel. You can definitely relate to Nathan, especially if you're, you know, an Uber or Lyft driver because he actually does have that uh, kind of side hustle right now as he is trying to become a writer. But Radiant Black, like I said, it has a very realistic feel. The art is pretty good. And the story I feel like is going to develop into something that's going to turn into a very very astronomically amazing story to enjoy now up next is inferno girl red now this is something that i only just recently realized that this is gonna actually tie in with radiant black now inferno girl is a collaboration between the rise of ultraman co-writer matt groom and captain marvel artist erica de urso with tokusatsu expert kyle higgins now funny enough kyle higgins like i just said is in fully in charge with radiant black so to know that inferno girl red is actually within the same universe as radiant black just obviously better the question are you going to pick up Inferno Gold Red while you start reading Radiant Black because I know me if I see an awesome design character like I'm seeing with Inferno Gold Red I have no choice but to pick up this issue whenever it does drop currently it's in the process of releasing a Kickstarter and then I will also leave the details and the link to that Kickstarter for you guys to see the full details on how you can go ahead and support that when it does come out but I can tell you right now just off of the preview images and this design of Inferno Gold Red I am super excited I'm actually more, even more excited to learn that it's not just going to be her own standalone thing. She's actually going to have some sort of role and play into the story alongside Radiant Black. Inferno Girl Red is an unusual blend of tokusatsu action and teen superhero drama with a healthy dose of British boarding school intrigue thrown in for good measure. The book follows Cassia Costa, a troubled teen genius who finds her native apex city stolen away by a demonic cult. Cassia is given the chance to win back her home when a magical dragon bracelet suddenly affixes itself to her arm. However, there's one important catch. The bracelet is powered by the wearer's belief and the pragmatic Cassia is hardly the type to put her faith in the supernatural. So some quick notes here to share with you guys. This story has actually been in the works for about three years. And here's a direct quote from the writer. 
Kyle and I shared a passion for the Japanese tokusatsu genre, which is a big influence on Inferno Girl Red, along with British boarding school dramas and American superhero comics. There's little coincidence that Kasia was first introduced to the world in the back of the first issue of Kyle's series, Radiant Black. In fact, the connection between Radiant Black and Inferno Girl Red may run deeper than you think. Again, stay tuned to more information on Inferno Girl Red. There's going to be a link in the description below, so that way you guys can go ahead and follow when the Kickstarter drops and when the first issue will officially release and last but not least of course it wouldn't be me if i didn't find any other excuse to talk about more power rangers because the one shots are not done with astronomer here is phantom ranger edge of darkness this is a character that literally has not been explored as fans would love for the character to be explored one of the most mysterious characters and like i said a character that has not been explored at all or not enough is finally getting an origin story a backstory story that we've been waiting to see that ties into literally everything. Answering Zordon's call, the Phantom Ranger investigates the aftermath of an Imperial attack, only to discover their connection to an ancient evil he encountered long ago, which may have finally returned to threaten the entire universe. Now, I'm not sure exactly when this story will take place, and I'm sure we're going to find that out um, on June 30th this year, 2021, when it does come out. But I will tell you this right now, just looking at the cover, my man is holding none other than baby rita so i think that this is gonna be a banger and i'm i am super looking forward to seeing where this goes and how the story is told which by the way is written by frank gogles which if you guys are looking um forward to seeing maybe how the story will be written if you want to get a little bit of a taste on how mr gogle writes you can definitely check out his work grief that was nominated for a ringo award in 2019 also a series called no heroin last year and a series called dead end kids in 2019 which has a sequel that's currently releasing right now again i'm super excited for the phantom ranger edge of darkness and with every single comic for the power rangers series that has come to date i have not been upset yet and every single story has been better and better and i can tell you right now like i said earlier if we had the stories that came out of the comics book back when we were kids watching that damn tv show i'm sure we wouldn't have need the tv show because the comics have been that much better so guys i hope you enjoyed my list of comics that i'm looking forward to within the next few months i hope you guys do check out some of the recommendations that i did have for you guys again i am actually reading teenage mutant ninja turtles the originals through the color classics on the side here but those are some ones that i wanted to highlight and definitely show some love and uh you know create this good content for you guys um and get the conversations going so if you definitely feel up to checking any of them out please do let me know in the comments below like share subscribe hit me up on twitter for more of this uh type of content and uh make sure you guys take care of yourselves make the proper tech Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I'll see y'all next time.